This would be a relief, I'm sure, for President Macron to see their, their national champion finally coming up with a vaccine with efficacy. As you mentioned, they had a setback in December when they had an insufficient immune response in, in the elderly patients. They had to tweak uh, the formula. And so after restarting the phase two trial in February, they come up with this first result that we just heard this morning. And they mentioned now a strong neutralizing antibody response in all adults that had 722 patients between 18 and 95 year old. And they mentioned this 95 to 100 zero conversion following the second injection with acceptable tolerability and no safety concerns. Uh, interestingly, they also mentioned for this vaccine a high immune response after a single dose in patients with prior infection. So this shows a strong potential for this vaccine as a booster. And of course, that's really important in the context where we talk about several variants and potential boosters coming in the autumn. So this could be a good, um, a good candidate for this. So the phase three uh, will start in the, f in the coming weeks with 35,000 patients, including on some uh, variants they mentioned in particular the South African variant and they hope to have the final approval for the fourth quarter of this year and it's an interesting vaccine because it's one that can be stored at a normal fridge temperature not a super cold temperature ones it's a relatively cheap vaccine we don't have the exact price but we had indication from Sanofi that it will come under 10 euros per dose and of course we know that Glaxo and Sanofi that produce this vaccine together have a huge production capacity so they will be able to put this uh, together of course we need several vaccines to be able to vaccinate the world uh, going ahead, especially with variants coming uh, coming in effect. So um, this is a classic vaccine based on the flu vaccine that Sanofi already developed, a protein uh, vaccine. Uh, remember that Sanofi is also developing in parallel an mRNA vaccine with uh, Translate Bio. They uh, entered the phase one and two in March for this vaccine. They hope to have the first results of this uh, mRNA vaccine in Q3. But in the meantime, until they have their own vaccine developed, uh, they are helping producing that fill and finish uh, for other uh, vaccines that are already being distributed so that they are uh, producing for Moderna, Pfizer-BioNTech and Johnson & Johnson. But in the meantime, this is positive news for Sanofi, certainly with this new vaccine coming through. Hopefully in the fourth quarter of this year, we see this positive reaction uh, with Sanofi shares up 0.3% on the CAC 40.